Hey guys, in this project we're going to be building a, a to-dos application called Mean To-Dos and it's going to be using the Mean Stack. Now if you don't know what Mean stands for, it stands for MongoDB, Express, Angular, and Node.js. So Express is a, it's a back-end web framework based on Node.js and it handles routing. It gives us a whole bunch of utilities including HTTP utilities to work with APIs. Um, drivers to work with certain databases such as MongoDB which we'll be using uh, and just gives us a whole bunch of things to create uh, really reliable fast web applications so we're gonna be doing that we're gonna set up an Express server we're gonna set up a back-end API for to do's and then we're gonna create the front end using angular 2 so the first thing we're gonna do is create a package.json file, which is a manifest that'll have our app name, version, and list all the dependencies. Now we can create that with npm init, but let's first create a folder for our project. All right, so I'm gonna call this mean to do's. Okay, and we'll just go into that folder and we'll run npm init. All right, so we'll go through these questions here. That's fine. It's description. We'll say simple to do's app that runs on the mean stack. Entry point, let's say app. Actually, let's do server.js. And then we'll just hit enter for the rest. All right, so that'll create our package.json file. Now I'm going to open that folder in my editor. All right, and if we look at package.json, it should look something like this. All right, now what we want to do is install our dependencies. So back in our command prompt, we're going to say npm install. And we want a couple different things here. We need express, obviously. We want our... Um, ORM to work with MongoDB and we're going to use something called MongoJS. All right, we're also going to use EJS for templates that stands for embedded JavaScript and then also body parser. All right, and let's do dash dash save and that should add them all to the package.json file. All right, so now if we look in package.json, you can see that we have our modules set up. Next thing we're going to do is create the app.js file, or server.js file, sorry. All right, and let's see, in this file we're going to bring everything in. So let's say var express, set it to require express. It should have quotes. Okay, we also want to bring in our path module. Now we didn't have to install this because it's uh, it's actually a core module. All right, so let's say require path. Then we want to bring in our body parser. All right, now we're gonna have basically two, two different parts of the application. We'll have the index, which will be the, the home page, and then we'll have the to-dos API. So we're gonna need routes for those. So let's create a variable called index, and we're gonna set that to require, and then pass in a file path, which will be routes slash index. All right, and then we'll have var to do's, and that'll be routes slash to do's. All right, now we need to set up our view engine. All right, with Express, there's a lot of different view engines you can use. We're going to use EJS because it's really simple. Um, basically, we can just use regular HTML, and then there's a, a simple syntax to include variables and things like that. All right, so let's say app.set, and we want to set the views folder. We're going to use the path module here, say path.join, and then we'll pass in double underscore, dir name, and then views. 
Okay, we're just telling it that we want it to use the views folder for our templates and our views. And then we just need to set the view engine to EJS. All right. Now body parser has a couple lines of middleware that we need to add. So we're going to say app.use. Uh, let's say body parser dot json okay and then one other line we're going to say body parser dot uh, url encoded all right and then we're just going to pass in there and say extended false all right so that's for body parser now for our routes we're going to say app dot use and the slash and we're going to pass an index okay and that pertains to this up here all right then we need to do the same thing for to do's so for this we're going to say slash api slash v1 okay so it's going to be version one of our api to do's all right and then we need to just set up a listen so that we can run the server. We'll say app.listen port 3000. And then we'll just have our callback function. And that's just going to do a console log. All right, we'll say server started on port 3000. And that should be it. So let's save it. Now, if we try running it, it's not going to run yet because it's going to look for the views folder uh, and it's also going to look for the routes folder. So we need to create those things. So views and whoops, I don't want it inside the views. I don't let's do that. Close that up. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Is that going to put it? Yeah, it keeps putting it inside. And I don't want that. All right, there we go. You want them side by side. Okay, now routes is gonna take two files. We'll have index.js and we'll have todos.js. All right, so first in index, we're going to bring in express. So let's say var express require express and then we're going to use the router so we want to create a variable called router set it to express dot router all right and then we're going to set our first route so say router dot get because it's going to be a get request and it's going to be to slash which is the basically the home page of the server function will take in a request response and next and then all we're going to do here uh, for now let's just do res.send and we'll just say index all right and then finally we just need to export this so that other files can use it we're going to export the router all right so let's save that and then I'm just going to copy that and go to todos.js and let's see for slash todos. Let's go ahead and just say todos API. All right, and we'll save that. And then we just need to actually let's try running it and see what happens. So we're going to say uh, node server app is not defined all right so let's go back to server js and we forgot to create the app variable so let's go and say var app equals express all right so server started on port 3000 so if we go to localhost 3000 we get index if we go to slash API slash V1, 
Uh, let's see. We should be getting the to dos. Let's see. App v oh app v1 to dos. That's right. And there we go. All right. So now all I want to do is load up the uh, views. So inside the views folder, uh, we're just going to have an index EJS. And I mean, this this isn't important, this file, um, because we're not going to be going to this page. We're not going to load this. We're going to be working in the client side uh, that's going to be sending requests to the to do's API. But this page, I just want to have just in case someone does go to it. So we'll just say um, to do's API server. All right, and then in order for that to show, we're just going to change send to render. And we want to render the index view. All right, now notice if I try to reload it, it, it doesn't happen because we need to restart the server. So control C, we'll run it again. And if we go to localhost 3000, it loads that page. All right, and we'll probably want to just add some HTML here as well. Uh, yeah, let's just put some tags in here. We'll say uh, doc type Okay, we'll put a head and let's do a title. Let's say to do server. And then we'll just put in some body tags and we'll throw that in there. All right. So that's the index view. And you can do whatever. You can add some more stuff here if you want, but it's really not important. Now, in the next video, we're going to take care of our to do's routes. Okay. We want to create a RESTful API um, that's going to interact with MongoDB using the, the MongoJS module. All right, so I will see you in the next video.